this deeply logical and intelligent villain uses ice cold ruthlessness to achieve his goals. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Mr. Freeze. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1959's Batman No. 121, which was expanded upon in 1992's Batman the Animated Series and its comic book adaptation, Batman Mr. Freeze. Originally introduced as Mr. Zero, this Batman villain was once a one-dimensional and ruthless villain that used his knowledge of cryogenics to achieve wealth. After several decades, he underwent major change, which quickly transformed him into one of the most popular and sympathetic of the Dark Knight's foes. In Batman Mr. Freeze, Dr. Victor Freeze was portrayed as having emerged from an isolated and troubled youth. As a child, he made a hobby of freezing animals in order to preserve them, fearing that they would eventually die. Sickening his parents, they sent him away to a strict boarding school where he became an outcast. He broke from his constant depression when he met the love of his life, a woman named Nora. Sadly, their happiness and marriage turned out to be short-lived as she was soon diagnosed with a fatal disease. Needing money to provide medical bills, he began working at Gotham City Lab. There, he began revolutionary work into cryogenic healing. However, with results not coming fast enough, Victor decided to secretly freeze Nora until a cure could be found. While it preserved her life, his actions had been discovered. When security officers threatened to pull the plug, Victor put up a fight. This resulted in a coolant blast that erupted from the machinery and consumed his body and the lab. Surviving the experience, he discovered that his body had undergone a mutagenic change, requiring sub-zero temperatures to survive. I can no longer survive out of a sub-zero environment. Fashioning himself a suit to keep his vitals going, he developed a freezing ray. Within a year, Freeze targeted his old employer, Ferris Boyle, who was keeping his suspended wife in storage with the hopes of using her to turn a profit. An intervention by Batman gave the Doctor a new primary motivation, the death of the Cape Crusader. Over the years, the two would confront each other many more times. This was due to Freeze's need to steal diamonds to power his cryo suit and to afford the equipment needed to find a cure. Though, on occasion, he has found himself partnering with Batman when he found it to be the logical choice of action. Freeze has also been known to stop himself when he realizes that his wife wouldn't approve of his actions. He has also learned to make a home of Arkham Asylum, one of the few facilities prepared for his extended stays with a refrigerated cell. One of Batman's most iconic foes, Mr. Freeze has appeared in various forms of media over the years. These include his comical portrayal by several actors in the 1960s Batman series. Nobody says no to me, never. Wunderbar! Wunderbar! And Arnold Schwarzenegger's over-the-top interpretation of the character in 1997's Batman and Robin. Mercy? I'm afraid that my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. However, the most complex and sympathetic portrayal of the character came in Batman the Animated Series and its film, Batman and Mr. Freeze, Sub-Zero. I can only beg your forgiveness and pray you'll hear me somehow, some place, some place where a warm hand waits for mine. 